I think I've already read this one. No, no, you didn't. A couple of them are identical. Oh, God. That's it. I'm going to bed. You can't, no, you can't. We still have all these left to do. I'll wait for the movie. Wake me up if you find any gold. Good night. What is it? The answer. What? That's what Skinner said in his letter. Where is the gold? The answer is in the journals. This book must be over 600 pages. But the journal weighs more. The book covers are made of gold. No. No, it's leather. It's ordinary leather. Where is the gold? The answer isn't in the journals. The answer is in the journals. You are wasting your time, Mr. Padron. The gold's not there. I know where it is. Dalton Padron, I'm Ronald Mathis of the Hillside County Sheriff's Office. I want you to put that hammer down. Sir, you drop your hammer, or I'll drop mine. Joshua Skinner's fortune was right here, under our noses the whole time. The answer is in the journals. Which one? All of them. Gold paper? Gold. Ink. Ink? Joshua Skinner didn't trust banks, so he decided to hide his illegitimate fortune. He melted down the gold, mixed in a little black ink. Any amateur chemist could have done it. And then he began to write, and write, and write, and write, and write. It was mostly nonsense, gibberish, really, anything that popped into his head. He ran out of things to talk about after five pages, but he just kept on writing. The gold was hidden in plain sight, and it stayed hidden for 125 years. until tonight. Wow, you figure 30 ounces of gold per journal, that's roughly $6,000 a book, 947 volumes, that's $6 million, more or less. Don't forget the real price. Two people died for that gold. Two people? Dalton had a business partner, a partner who trusted him. A lot of people trusted him. Dalton, is it true? Oh, what can I say, darling? It's a lot of gold. This weekend just will not end. Dalton, if you, uh, you want a hostage, take me. Well, that's awfully sweet, Jeffrey. No, thank you. The only thing I'm taking from this house is my new gun and the keys to these handcuffs. Come on. And a little reading material. Let's go! Come on, let's go. Everybody step back, he's claustrophobic. Oh. Move, move, move. <clears throat> Great, the battery's dead, of course. Just relax. It'll just be a few minutes, and everybody's safe. That's the important thing. And we're all together. Oh, yes, we are. We're all together. You know, in a way, we're lucky. Not all marriages are ever tested like this. So maybe we should take advantage of this situation and really explore. Forget it. You really would have gone with him? I'd do anything for you. Don't you know that, Rachel? You're my whole world. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking, I'm, I am going to talk to your brother about that job. 
I love you, Jeff. Oh, God, I love you, baby. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. I, I don't think we've been introduced. I, I'm Ronald. I'm Maria. Oh. Oh. What day is it? We were only in there for five minutes. I don't think so. It's a jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's a jungle out there.